That is a sexy pose. That will start off a beer review like none other. And I think we all know what time it is. You got, what, the Knee Bar Buffet? You got Montana? You bet your sweet fucking ass shit is fixing to go down. So what's going down tonight? Let me give you a little sample. We have genuine sturdy beer mugs. Maybe we need ourselves a sturdy beer. So what do we have? Got some nice Belgo Anise Imperial Russian Stout. Belgo Anise Imperial Russian Stout? Holy Imperial, shit. Imperial, man. Come on. Sorry, those are big words. It's a long name for a beer. Basically, this is fucking Stone Brewing. The makers of Arian Bastard. The makers of the beer, you can barely even stand. This is their beer. This is the one. It's the one that's been compared to fucking... Fucking oil. Fucking engine oil. Coffee. Chocolate. Even Belgo Anise. That means fucking black licorice, basically. We're gonna try this shit out tonight. Hey, if you gotta do what you gotta do, make it happen. That is official like a referee whistle. Let's see what happens Ooh. with the pour. Look at that nice color. It's straight fucking out of the engine. It, and that is a good pour. That is a very good pour. No bullshit. Now, looking at this, well, uh, hindsight being 2020, there's a lot ahead, but let's let it settle. It's a very dark beer. I would say it's, uh, it's basically darker than the inside of a coffin on a moonless night. Is that apt? It's pretty, pretty fucking accurate. From even from here, from about a foot away, before I even fucking got my nose close to it, I can smell that the nice caramely, chocolatey, basically coffee. I mean, from here it looks like someone poured coffee in a mug for some fucking reason. The head, it looks fucking caramely. It looks fucking dark. It looks fucking amazing. That's what it is. Why you gotta say fucking so much? I don't care. Is that you? Is, is that your comment? term for fucking? That's cool. That's just how this is. What this hits me is, it's a beer. This is, this is a stout beer. What are we at? Like 9.8 or something? We are actually at 10.5% from Stone Brewing's, was it, the Anise? I'll go Anise Imperial Stout. Imperial Russian. Russian. And I would just like, can we cheers to uh, internationally known and world-respected mixed martial artist from the land of Russia named Fedor Milianenko? Can we cheers to that? It's oh, good. Yeah. And when you cheers to it, you see it's dark. You cannot see through this. You no bullshit, you Holy can't. Right to the light, there's no fucking light. It's darkness is what it is. And it has a very unique aroma, like you mentioned. It smells like coffee. It's got chocolate hues and a slight just a slight smell of uh, the anise or I anise, like the, the black <laughs> licorice. I don't even smell it really. Like we, I mean, we tasted this beforehand. We went through this. We tried this out beforehand. If you taste it, you can kind of hint at that, that that black licorice. But really, you shouldn't be afraid of this beer. Most people don't like that taste of black licorice. So there's no reason to, to not try this, okay. this beer. Do not be scared just because of the name. It's, you know, if you never shoot, you always miss. And this is, this is definitely a beer worth taking a shot at. So, let's quit talking about its sexy black looks and its sweet chocolatey coffee smells let's see what the fuck it actually tastes like eh? right off the get go you taste that nice chocolate like like hot cocoa like coffee with chocolate melted in it it's chocolate I mean there's that tiny hint of of black licorice right there but it, it goes in waves it's all separated it's flavor 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 it's Beer, hint of beer, not even hard, not even serious beer. You'd expect a 10% alcohol to be pretty fucking strong, but really this tastes sweet. It goes beer, hint of chocolate, tiny, tiny hint of licorice, and back to that chocolate. It leaves a nice aftertaste in your mouth that's just, it's coffee. It tastes like cappuccino. You described it very well. I mean, there is, there is a bit of an alcohol taste, but it hits you in the back after you drink it. I mean... You get a bit of 
just a bit of that black licorice flavor on the front of the palate, and then you get coffee, you get chocolate, you get cappuccino, whatever the fuck you want to call it. There is definitely a, a coffee bean flavor and a chocolatey flavor. The black licorice is not, not at all overpowering, and it's good for as strong as it is. It is a drinkable ale. Excuse me, it's not even an ale. It's a motherfucking Imperial Russian Stout. Badass. What it is, it's a fucking dessert. It's fucking, you have your meal and you drink this like it's fucking candy. I mean, I, I would go to the candy store and find this somewhere. It's that fucking good. It tastes like, I mean, it's got that chocolate. It's like ice cream kind of chocolatey. It's almost coffee, like, a, like toffee, a coffee, maybe. Perhaps toffee, maybe even a root beer, sarsaparilla type kind of effect. It's, it's got that, that, uh, consistency. It's got that, uh, the head on it kind of makes you think root beer, kind of makes you think, uh, I mean, even kind of coffee in the head. It's just, it's good. It really is. There's no strongness. Like, Arrogant Bastard's other, uh, other beers, they taste really, really slapped in the face. I mean, I don't even know how it's, to describe it. It's they, nowhere near as bitter compared to the Arrogant Bastard or the, the Oat. It's a very, it's much more complex. You know, it's it's a gentleman's brew, if that makes any sense to you. It's it's good. You have to have a a refined palate and a sophisticated taste to enjoy that. I, I think that's that's honestly a true assessment of this. I want to call it beer, but it's fucking stronger than some wines. I mean, no bullshit. This will stomp your dick in the dirt. I mean, you drink three or four of these, and I don't even want to think of what's going to happen, man. You're going to be down, man. And the thing is, I mean, this is a connoisseur's beer. It's an expensive beer. It's a, a very flavorful beer. It's a craft beer. But really, anyone can come up and try this and like it. It's a very sweet, very aroma, very... Just a very good beer. I recommend it to anyone. Newcomers, fucking connoisseurs, it doesn't matter. It's a good beer. Now, like we say, don't be scared with the black licorice or a, a coffee chocolate beer. It's Just give it a try. You're not going to know if you like it if you never try it. And don't be afraid of that dark motor oil fucking midnight black look. It's, it is a good beer. It is a, a drinkable alcohol. And it's got a nice head, very... It kind of, it's reminiscent. When you look at it, you can almost see like a burnt caramel or a, some sort of motherfucking cappuccino, maybe even a latte from Starbucks or some bullshit. I don't know, but it's not white at all. It's not kahaki. It's a, it's a dark brown. Dark, yeah. It is rich, a dark brown. Rich, like someone melted chocolate in this fucking beer. That's what it is. I mean... I think someone took a beer and melted some chocolate in there. It's what it tastes like. It's what it looks like. It's it's motor oil. I mean, it's amazing tasting motor oil. I don't recommend drinking motor oil out of your car. Yes. I prefer this, but I imagine it's similar. So basically, in synopsis, don't be scared of how it looks. Don't be scared of the name. Just give it a try, and I can guarantee your sweet ass you will not be disappointed. It is a quality beverage. Stop looking at me, camera. That was so good. We did that in less than ten minutes, and we're drunker than three fucking dirty dogs, dude. That was good. No bullshit. That was good.